The last thing we're going to look at on our administration toolbar is reports. Clicking on reports gives us a listing of some of the more important things we need to know about our Drupal site, like are there any available updates, recent log messages, a listing of all the fields on our entity types, we'll talk more about that one, status reports, top access denied and page not found errors, top search phrases, and some of the plugins that our views might use. Go ahead and click on Available Updates, and we'll get a listing of all of the things that might need to be updated. We'll also see that we haven't checked for 48 minutes. This is managed by cron, and it's something you need to set up on your server. For now, just check manually, and Drupal will go out, check all of the things that we've installed, and let us know that we are indeed up to date. Not to worry here. If I had added more modules or features to my site, there'd be a whole list here, and we'll check this again later on as we go through the class. Clicking back on reports, I can get a status report of my site to see what's going on, what version of Drupal I'm on, when cron was last run, and again, you can see a link that you can run cron from externally. Of course, it doesn't work because I'm on an internal machine. My database system and database version etc etc you'll want to keep a close look on the report section of your site if you're the person responsible for maintaining all of the updates for Drupal and the modules that you download lastly of course is help and help is exactly what it sounds like links to great help out at drupal.org well that sums up our administration toolbar we're ready to move into the next session of the course on managing our content.